Hi guys, welcome hey back to our channel. I'm Jin. And I'm Phil. And together we're Jin T. <laughs> you had to do it. I, I, no, 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 I just don't want to set a trap for you. I thought you were going to do it, you didn't fall for it. Okay. Uh, oh, that's a little bit disappointed. <laughs> but anyway, uh, today we're going to do a very interesting, interesting and bizarre topic. A little weird for us. Yes, and I have to be honest, uh, I don't think I've ever done this before at all. So this is the first time. I don't know what to expect. I know somebody I'll has correct a you later. negative kind of mindset. No, not at all. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Not at all. No, I wanted to say that I, <laughs> I in, in, in fact, I don't want to get ahead of ourselves. Let's, okay. they don't even know what we're doing yet. Right, right. You're not going anywhere now. <laughs> Stay for the ad. <laughs> you got to Today, we're going to brew commodity tea bags in a guy one. Mm. We have some selections. Show them. Oh, okay. <laughs> These ones. We have this selection. We're not going to do them all. We're going to pick one and we're going to brew it in a guy one. See how that rolls. Yes. Okay. And nobody has any preconceived notions. <laughs> More on that later. Yeah. If this is your first time watching our video, hi, my name is Jen. And I'm Phil. I think we already said that. Oh, not right. sure. <laughs> um, and together we're Jen T. Yes. Ajin Tea, we specialize in fine tasting great Chinese tea. And on this uh, channel, we share videos about how to brew teas, tea troubles, and some, you know, cultural backgrounds about Chinese tea and even Chinese culture. Live sessions like Sunday yes. Tea Book, which you can check out on our website. All kinds of great stuff on this channel. So be sure to uh, smash that like button just as soon as you realize how great this video is. <laughs> Click subscribe right now so you don't miss any of our future videos and hit the notification bell so you will know whenever we post new content. Um, all optional, of course, strongly recommend it. We have four teas to choose from, and we both have different ideas on how this is gonna go. Earlier, it's not about the quality for me. I just, I'm questioning the endurance of these teas. So the ones we have, oh, right. right? We've got two from Tetley. Um, are these the English sides? So up here in Canada, we've got an English and a French side, which, which does matter, see? Pour les Français, voilà, le thé vert ici. Uh, green tea here, and Earl Grey. So um, fancy. From Tetley, two grams in each tea bag, okay? 24 bags, a total of 48 grams. I think I did the math right. I hope so. Yeah, surprising. I didn't know there's only two grams of tea too. in a bag. And I have the Tazzle uh, English breakfast here mm -hmm. and uh, our finest English breakfast black tea. Mm -hmm. uh, somehow I don't have the package. Why do I get a package though? Uh, the box, box was big. So two grams in the world's finest or whatever it is, our finest. Right. And the Tazo has... Uh, 2.5, just a little shade over 2.5 grams in the Tazo tea bag. So that's interesting. Yeah, these are the teas I used to uh, prepare for the video about uh, teas. Uh, tea and the pH of tea. pH of tea. Check the link yes. down below. Super um, interesting video. She did a lot of research, like, <laughs> you know, just prep for that video. Yeah, and uh, now we end up with this tea. We do drink this tea and. Uh, I don't know. Right now, my mind is, uh, uh, I love Earl Grey, but I'm going to kick that out first because I don't want to send a tea. Mm. Uh, the rest are just a tea, blends of a black tea, so I prefer those ones. At yeah. least we're tasting tea per se, uh, because True. we don't True. really taste the flavor of the we're tea. Not, yeah, we're not bergamot tasters. <laughs> so that leaves a green tea and two English breakfasts. What does the green tea say? I'm leaning towards the Tazo because it's... Tazo. I don't know if it ha okay. if it's it true at all, but it has that notion of slightly better. Okay, okay. So and it ingredients it, it, a pure green tea, tazo ingredients a, a blend of a black teas. Hmm. Okay, and uh, the finest uh, is uh, black tea. I go for this too. Mhm. Mm okay. Okay, that's a happy to decide. We're gonna try tazo because tazo is also Starbucks, right? It's one of their brands, yeah, I think so. That. Or it used to Something be. Like I don't know what the deal is now. Right, right. I'm not on top of those things. Okay, they suggest 100 degree, uh, 2, 3, 6 mil for 5 minutes, which 
We're gonna ignore. We're gonna ignore. <laughs> we're gonna we're, do Kung Fu Brewery. Yeah, I think the 2.5 is a little bit better in this Gaiwan size too. I don't think mm. we have a small enough Gaiwan to hold that whole tea bag because the bag is large, the tea is small. So I think it's a good, a good choice. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I'm, I'm a little bit uh, lost because I'm not. Yeah, this is really different for us, but I want to mention to the folks, I think you may have said it's our first time brewing tea bag in Gaiwan. And while that's true on the channel, for sure. It's, no. First time brewing commodity tea bag. Yes, that's right. Tea bag we did before. Actually, yeah. we use tea bag quite often. Like you know, when you break a, a cake and in the end there's shakes and stuff, mm. you don't want to literally powder. Powder, because, yeah. Because you know, breaking the cake, you just can't avoid, especially if it's like a Fujuan, a really tough pressed brick, you're gonna end up with powder. Yeah. Mm. So they'll use tea bags to collect that up and brew it without having it, because you know, come out. We did your, that at home with yeah, our we do, that, we do that. And we got some really interesting tea bags from our Taekwon Yim producer, Sun Hai, who you can read all about in Cha Ren on our website, uh, genti.ca slash Cha Ren. Link down below in the description. Fascinating story, but he makes a... I have an interruption question. Do I throw this tag in? Don't throw it in. Okay, I'll say. No, leave a comment below if you see, okay. think she should have thrown it in. I'm voting for I don't okay. want the... Paint from, this, from the tag in yeah, my yeah, tea. Yeah, makes sense. Maybe they're not designed to be thrown. Yeah, so okay. he, um, yeah, he makes a Guanyin home as well, which is a black tea made from Tae Guanyin, purely with buds, and they're so small and tiny, he puts them in a tea bag, and they are delicious. Oh, nice. Just like how it would taste a, a regular tea, but I smell the tea bag flavor. You can smell the, uh, yeah, the fabric. Uh, the, pay, mm, the fiber the fabric. or, yeah. yeah. And I want to actually, you can smell the tea too, though, a little bit. Yes, you yeah. can, not as a fragrant, huh? I want to just dive in. People might be out there watching and go, why, guys? Why are you doing that? You know, first, you might be surprised at the flavor. We're, so we're not sort of um, tea snobs. A tea bag has its place in the world. We're all good with that. And more important, at least from my perspective, you know, I'm a, at best, I can call myself a novice taster. I've been tasting for a number of years. I'm getting better and better. It's part of my skill building to taste different tea and see what's good about it, what's less good about it, etc. So for me, this is a really fun activity to dive mm -hmm. in and not just throw it in a pot and drink it in the morning as my brain slowly wakes up, but um, to taste it properly. And I'm going to pull out all the stops and use all the techniques that you too, you can too learn if you don't already know. We have a great video for me, it was a game changer, how to taste tea. It might sound ridiculous, but it really helped me um, learn how to really dig into tasting tea. Right. I found the tricky thing when I'm brewing is, first, I don't have a criteria. Because uh, I don't drink tea bag that much. so. I actually don't know how the color is. I just use my... Your own intuition. Intuition yeah. and my knowledge about the black tea. So I'm shooting for something rubyish, light, yeah. deep gold. So this I is think the, you nailed it. It's really the nice first color. The brew that I have here. And that's what we kind of say, right? We'll, we'll taste it. And if we yeah. feel like it's light, yeah. we'll, we'll step it up a little bit. The aroma. I, I want to try and have a comment about the aroma. Let me see if I it's can. It's really okay. It's really hard to describe the aroma, but for me, I smell that. I know it's the lower part of the tree of the the mature leaf kind of smell. It's not a like. Yeah, it's a little sharper than normal. Less, a little <laughs> bit less of the sweetness that I would be expecting. Right. A little bit more musky. Yeah, I might maybe say. that's why. Um, yeah. Not unpleasant at all. Mm. Has a briskness to it. It has a black tea aroma, very faint, very close to the liquor. It's not very. Yes, it's not booming what, mm. at all. Uh, but yeah, it's there. Mm. It's a tea. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely tea.
Not bitter. Not bitter. Um, you know, there's no, uh, your, your infusion, I think, is pretty on point. There's no trouble. I wouldn't go longer. Yeah, I agree. There's no trouble accessing the flavor. The flavor is apparent immediately. Mm -hmm. But also, I, I think I'm at the edge of mm -hmm. the steeping. If mm -hmm. I keep going, yes, it might give me more tea flavor, but I think the bitterness is coming out. The bitterness mm. and the... It's all flavor, okay? I'm getting a nice black tea flavor with a little bit of briskness and sharpness on my um, upper palate and the sides of my mouth. When I breathe over the tea... It's definitely drinkable. It's for sure it's drinkable. It's definitely drinkable. Like it's not as awful as yeah. <laughs> sometimes people describe. Right. When I breathe over it, I don't get... Uh, if, if, if you were used to this tea and you heard me asking you to breathe over tea to access the aromas, you might wonder, what's the point? I would get that if this was your baseline. It's not an aromatic tea, it's a flavorful tea. It's in the mouth. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> this might not sound right, but uh, I... Uh-oh. Why? No, I... Just kidding. <laughs> this makes me nervous when you say that. <laughs> it's... It's not rich, but not flat. Yeah, I think that's fair. I'm trying to search the word. That's why it takes me yeah, a while. Yeah, yeah. How should I say by rich? You know, I don't want to use the word strong. Based on my brew, this is not strong. It's tea. definitely not it's strong. Mm. As the tea is there, it's not as watery as I, I thought it would be mm. or anything. It's actually pretty good body. In mm. terms of texture, in terms of the tea liquor, and it's not flat. A lot of times you would have tea, aromatic, smells good, or tastes as it is, mm. as if there's lots of flavor, but it's flat. Yeah. And that's just... Flat and thin, right? Yes. This and one's this is not overly not. thin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not... Ay, oh, yo, 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 yo. This is challenging. It's quicking out, huh? And it's only okay, two so. grams. So here we see the demonstration of why leaf size matters. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it is, right? it is. Um, two grams would normally not be so rushing two us. Two something, I'm really shocked. Like Look how a, big it I is. I had an experience with tea bags, right? Mm. When, when I did those, I would expect like they're three, four grams. I thought so too. Grand. I'm going to weigh it. This is 2.5. Stay tuned well, to the end of the video. I'm going to yeah. throw up the actual weight. I'm going to cut one machine. open and weigh it. That should be pretty it should accurate. be bang on. It should be bang on. Yeah, yeah. Maybe a little low because the bag yeah. will hold some. And this uh, guy one is around 100 mils. Guys, so look usually... at the liquor color. Is she nailing this or what? <laughs> yes. It's so pretty consistent. Uh, really uh, nice How brew. would you call that? Gold? Deep gold? A little bit to the red side? Yeah, deep amber, I would say. It's because of the redness. Mm. Oh, and also temperature. They instructed 100 degree boiling water. I do lower the water temperature. Uh, as you know, I don't use those... Uh, fancy the boil to 85 degree or something. I use a kettle, I let it cool for a bit, I pour that uh, slowly and uh, let the kettle cool to lower the water temperature. So I think that also helps. Still uh, flavorful. I wouldn't call that flavorful. I was about to say not much of flavor, it's just a tea. <laughs> well, it's tea. Yes, it's yeah, black okay. tea. Let's be clear, yeah. And the bitterness is a little bit more uh, present. It's not it has a little tartness coming up. A little, yeah, I would it's, say bitterness, tartness, though, mm. might be more accurate. We have differing opinions. We have realized over the years yes. that our definition, our... Of tart. Not definition, huh? our concepts of tart yes. are slightly... Misaligned. Yeah, there's a difference. And yeah. we actually don't know who's right, so we just kind of know that and we roll with that. Yeah. So. Yeah. For me, I don't feel like any increase or changes much. Like a, in terms of bitterness, I really feel like it's extremely similar. Nothing major mm -hmm. change. But yeah, a minor I, little step up for me. Oh, I okay. Yeah. And you're right. The flavor is tea. It's a decent, mm -hmm. but 
you know, when, when we have, and look, we're not comparing a commodity tea with our teas. I'm just comparing the tasting profile, not saying it should be that. It, this is what it is, um, and that's okay. But the fullness we get from a, from a specialty tea, mm. you know, you've got that multi-dimensional, almost like sphere of flavors in your mouth. You know, you've got aromas up here. You've got a bunch of flavors down here, which can get confusing when there's a lot of them, but wonderful. And you've got the throat feel. And this is a nice sip of tea. That's what it's supposed to be, right? I'm going to say it's un unpopular. Um, opinion, which is, of course, totally just my opinion. I want to differential. I think the reason I want to do this video, why I talk about uh, why tea bag, why loose leaf tea or special, whatever fancy name you want to call it. Mm. First, tea bag tea doesn't equal bad tea mm. for me. Right? Like the way you sometimes put the form is in, it doesn't change. We put good teas in the tea bag, you brew it, it's still good. Mm -hmm. Right? And vice versa. Loose leaf tea for me, it doesn't mean good tea. I taste this tea, right. yes, it's not flavorful, uh, like in terms of uh, all those kinds. Yeah. I don't taste any issue with their black tea process. Mm -hmm. Like they're bang on. Right. You know? And I, but I too taste some loose leaf tea. Uh, you know, uh, 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 small some, garden, some specialty pack. teas, etc. Uh, and I'm like, capital F for your understanding of tea processing. Right. D, D. I will be nicer. I will be nicer. Maybe not F, but it's a D. Okay. Every, uh, every now and then it's absolutely, a hard Absolutely. Uh, yes, F. Right. I'm just trying to be nice. You can tell I, I don't agree. It's with an interesting this. point. So I want to clarify this in terms of a black tea process. A. Absolutely, right. eight. okay. They have what material they have. They harvest every day. They harvest the lower plants. They harvest whatever. There's no yep. issue with they their They fertilize process. to get the production up. They do, right? every, they do everything they need to do. They need the, uh, the, the yeah. tea plant to grow to do that. But in terms of process, it's fantastic. Yeah. yeah, and further to that, they then blend a bunch of different teas every year to dial it back into the original flavor that they want you to get and that you will get every single time. So right? super professional. And they, I want to just no, no, no. Let me finish this. This is important. How good people don't appreciate how good this technique is. Processing, mm. like I just said, oh. how good they are. They nail that batch. There's no thing. Blending, that's another thing. They could change their whole uh, supply regions to a total region, a membrane. Okay. I'm not going to say who, but and the end result consistent there's no change mm. that's incredible skills that people mm. a lot of like a new not new like a, a just people tend to poo poo a tea bag because yeah. of its form and because it's in the grocery store without recognizing there's you're comparing different things i yeah. think that that's what i'm trying to say it's, it's not fair to say tea bag is so bad loose yeah, tea yeah. is good They're, they are good at the different things Right, even those uh, loose leaf tea that I think are totally worse than tea bags, but they have better tea garden. Their trees are better taken care of. But tea per se for me is from beginning to the end. Mm. It's where it grows, including the where it's the processing and the blending. Their blending is fantastic. Like it's little producers or even little factories when they're trying to make their tea consistent. 99% of the time they fail. It's, hard. it's super tricky. It's really hard. So I, I'm impressed by its process. I yeah, have to yeah. say. Whew. All right. What are we up to? Third infusion. I think. Third infusion. Yeah, rocking it. No, I'm a calm. I'm calm. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. I think you were pretty calm. Yes. Was she? <laughs> Leave a comment down below if you think she blew her lid. I just, okay, just a little justification for myself. Because, you know, oftentimes you have tea gatherings and meet some uh, people and uh, they oftentimes people love to compare uh, how bad tea bag tea is with loose leaf tea. And I always have to buy my time. I don't say those in front of people, but, you know, it's my video channel. So sometimes you do, uh, which yes, is okay. If they go overboard. <laughs> I, I sometimes gently, them. gently point out, hey, there's some merits about those. But uh, 
well here I could have a little bit of that full on rant. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so I wanted to actually come back to one of your original um, comments about where you issued the D minus slash F. Um, and I want to <laughs> <laughs> and I want to I explain it. That. So this was in con with with regards to, you know, this tea, the processing is on point. And sometimes you taste a loose, a loose leaf tea or a quote unquote specialty tea, and it's a quote unquote black tea. And it's just like, you know, I want to just explain to people what are we talking about there, right? So you're looking at, you know, uh, I'm not a pro tea taster, but getting there. A pro tea taster who tastes the process, tastes where it's pluck on the bush, where it's pluck on the mountain, etc., etc., and is looking for what is our responsibility as tea vendors to you that we take very seriously is if that's a Chinese black tea that's delivering you the Chinese black tea profile as close to perfect. You know, if we look at our Supreme Tea line, Perfect. Mm. Okay. Nailed. Like every aspect of that tea will be knocked out of the park. That's our job. That's what we look at it as. So I think the reason, so the reason we give the D or the F as tea vendors is when you taste it, the tea with the label black tea, vis-a-vis -vis the price it, it, that's asked for, which is way over these commodity teas. No, no, no. It should be in that zone, maybe lower. <laughs> like it's a fail. Uh, maybe it's a fun flavor and really weird and bizarre. Yeah. So I think that, that that's the advantage and disadvantage of the tea plant is no matter what you do, no matter how much you fail in the process, this drink will always have flavor mm. like this. There's not going to change. It might not be a certain flavor depth or, or, so yeah, depth yeah, or right. stuff. There's always. So for some people, it would be like, there's a flavor, nothing wrong with it. That's an approach too. Yes. Nothing wrong because in the end, we're tea lovers drinking tea at home. I drink whatever I like. I like Earl Grey. Nothing wrong with the natural flavoring or artificial flavoring, right? Mm. But uh, as a... Hopefully nothing wrong with it. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> right. But as a uh, professional's way of look at things, so we... Mm. It's not, we got to put aside our personal preference mm. and look at about the process. Mm. And sometimes you, you know, you taste certain teas, <laughs> loose leaf tea, expensive tea, and uh, their understanding of how tea is a process is no more than the flow chart. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, they, oh, they know they've got a kill grid. How to do the kill grid? The mess, okay? The result shows it's a mess. Mm -hmm. Fermentation. What are you doing with the black tea fermentation? What's your goal? How much do you ferment? Or just to say oxidation on oh, this oh, channel, sorry, just sorry. so we don't oxidation. confuse people. Sorry, sorry, oxidation. That's right. Uh, you know, that's a, that's a, a question for the tea processor when mm. they do that. Well, certain people really just I can see this tea went through an oxidation phase, but you know. There's nothing there. Like, uh, might as well don't waste your time on that. <laughs> uh, be nice. I got to remind myself to be nice. Well, even the notion <laughs> of, you know, let, since we're talking about black tea, which is a quote unquote fully oxidized tea, even the notion of fully oxidized yeah. is, is not, it's, there's some it's, threshold there that's yes. intangible. Yes. We say it's 100% oxidized because it's 100% oxidized in the concept of a good tea. 100% yeah. oxidized, in fact, is rotten, like kind of just completely broken down. That's really, that's a really good, how should I say, that's a really good point because uh, like, <laughs> because oftentimes when we introduce to people, like, because we're tea lovers and knowing some knowledge, it's a different approach if you're getting professional trainings, mm. right? So we say, oh, this is a black tea, this is a fully oxidized. People are thinking 100%. But so if that's the case, how could there be difference in terms of a leaf per uh, oxidation, right? Because in reality, if you, no tea, no black tea was actually tested to say, okay, this black tea is reaching 100% and we stop. Right. It is not like that. So a lot of times you have tons of black teas that yeah. are, if you look at the leaf, you know it's not 100%. It's just going through the process. Mm. Uh, you know, the, the, the gap or I like to call that misalignment vis-a-vis -vis the lab and uh, in reality. Mm. 
Did I explain that? I think so. It, it's, uh, it's hard to... It just illustrates the trickiness of making it to you know when you're processing that. And the that misleading leaf. of the initial uh, of the flow introduction. Chart. Of the flow chart. Flow chart how and how it is. we tell people about the 6T category, right? And oh, this oolong is 80% oxidized. Right. Or mm. uh, like, uh, so Teguayin is say 50%. Uh, do they step, how do they know it's a 50%? Nobody knows. That's why yeah. I like to say that light. Uh, light, uh, medium, heavy. Medium, heavy, mm -hmm. rather yeah. than a number. Because a lot of times when it comes to number, people expect a precision, an accuracy in terms of the thing. Yeah, and the fact is, is this is, it's touchy-feely. Tea making is touchy-feely. And it doesn't mean, you know, and to be good at it, that, that you know, is really tricky. And, oh, another thing, <laughs> sorry, it's just, when it comes to tea process, there's so many little things that nuance. we take, nuance, that we take mm. for granted because we heard this is the thing. Like, so I was talking about the black tea, right? A different black tea have actually have different levels of oxidation, depends on its own process and stuff. So. And we say, oh, black tea is a fully oxidized. Does that mean that uh, black tea pursue the fully oxidation for a good black tea is 100% oxidized? Does that make any sense? Uh, no. No way. <laughs> does, a, does a black tea pursue 100%? So it's yeah. aiming for that. Yeah, but some fail to reach it. That's right, why they're right. not I as see. good. Because some people might spin in that way to say, right, right. oh, maybe we should look for a black tea that is 100% uh, really fully oxidized, I, which is not true. I just right. want to point out yeah, that. Yeah. Just, I guess what I'm trying to say is when we share a statement or a knowledge of tea, People come at that at different angles. That's my experience in my <laughs> in my yeah. the business yeah. and life here. Is uh, people can ask a question that I never even think of. Right. Right. And uh, sometimes I complain we share too much pro information with people with people who we don't really know which level they are. Right. Then they start to go. And it really, becomes confusing. Really confusing for. Then and for me to really understand their for question me. and was, where they're coming yes. from. Yes, when I start, when you start to introduce even me, I know I had millions, millions of questions that you were like, "What?" <laughs> Just the relationship between we've been talking about oxidation because of our black mm. tea we're brewing here. The relationship between oxidation and roasting, two things that can bring the liquor color to the darker side, which are completely different, sort of weird. So I want to kind of quite overwhelming, right? A lot of information. Yeah. You might think, oh my gosh, I'm not even qualified to, to, to taste to, to taste tea. Wrong, right? We what do we always bring it back to here? It's all about you sip it, you taste it, you experience that, and then you decide if that's for you. Mm -hmm. That's sort of what yeah, it boils ignore down all to. Those, uh, this crazy is just, things I was uh, talking no, no, about. It's, <laughs> I think some people find it fun to learn a little bit more about mm -hmm. the sort of the backstory of tea and the, the complexities of the processing. But at the end of the day, it's really just a sip. Do you notice? I noticed the astringencies coming up in Me Infusion too. 3. I wanted to come back yes. to the to the taste. Yes. And, oh, um, I have been just a kid feeding and again, us. Not, it's not puckering my, uh, it's no. not like I'm not turning to a grapefruit face or anything like that. This is the sixth infusion. Oh wow, I missed a few. Nice. I mean, you didn't. I've been, I've, been, you, I've been sipping them. What right. I mean is I wasn't counting. We're focusing on talking because surprisingly tea bag tea is so provoking for our thoughts. I would have, I, I really thought, so guys, I thought we were going to be able to do two or maybe three tea bags in this <laughs> That's video. That's why we have four here. Because to it would, you know, two, three steeps and done. But it actually endured pretty well. Now the it's the consistency isn't there. First, and, the five is pretty good. I would say this yeah, is the first yeah. one. I'm like, a, I don't want to keep brewing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, now it's weaker. The last one mm -hmm. and the last couple. Like when we first started to roll again, I noticed the astringency creeping up. Yes. Now it's rolled off and it's becoming uh, like tea, like tea water. Um, hmm. I feel like uh, the flavor, the the initial like uh, we said, uh, those uh, still has some body in the in the liquor. I feel like that's gone. 
It's very flat. This is what I call okay. It's a T, but flat, very flat. Mm, yeah. The body is very flat, and、um, astringency level is noticeable high. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially towards much the higher、end. than previously.、Yep. Like the first few infusion, I didn't notice、nope, any. No, not too much astringency at all. Yeah. Yeah. I want to give folks a little assignment. Do you think? Okay, well, if, I know, it doesn't matter if you think it's okay. <laughs> if you think it's okay, then here's what I'd like you to do. Like, what's the takeaway here? There's no takeaway. We're just having fun. <laughs> But I'm gonna I'm gonna transform it into a takeaway. I want to challenge you guys to, if you have some tea bags, first, don't be ashamed to let us know. As you see, we don't care. Try it out. Yeah. Throw a tea bag into a gaiwan. And、uh, use your intuitive brewing skills. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out some of our videos on how to brew tea.、Mm -hmm. Since it's a black, if you pick a black tea, go to the, some of our how to brew any black tea. You can use those skills to brew. You know, we might say it's how to brew Guan Yin Hong, how to brew Lap Sam Su Chum, whatever. It, you can use those skills. Okay, you can use your, those skills. Use your nose, use your eyes, and you can intuitively brew your tea. Do your best,、mm -hmm. and let us know how it goes down in the comments down below. <laughs> Um, and it'll, it, it, you know, see how it goes. I don't want to.、Yeah. I don't. I have to say, it's hard to,、uh, hard to imagine this. When I started,、uh, I thought it wouldn't be so bad.、Uh, okay, let me summarize what I expected and what I found out,、okay. which is a little different. I thought it would be more flavorful than what I taste,、mm -hmm. in terms of I can pick out flavor. And、uh, no, it's pretty much just tea. So that's.、Uh, A difference. Second is the body of the liquor. I thought it would be flat from the beginning, which isn't. It actually has a pretty good.、Mm -hmm. uh, what's consistent is my experience、uh, with the tea bag. I often not often. I don't have tea bag often, but、uh, when I have that, I usually just、uh, use mug to brew. So I know it's、uh, process has no issue. I use a、uh, guy one. One of the reason I also want to try it is let's dissect it a little bit and see, is it true? And it's consistent with my experience. Impeccable, bloody process.、Mm. All right. Well, that wraps up our、uh, tea tasting of commodity tea bag in a gaiwan. Super fun. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos where Jen goes on a mini rant. <laughs> Leave us a thumb up and a comment down below to say more rant from Jen. We love it. Or if you don't like it, let us know as well.、Mm -hmm. um, I think it was interesting. I think it, it surprised both of us a little bit.、Mm -hmm. And most of all, it was fun.、Um, um, yeah. <laughs> no, it's okay. I'll so, be nice. Okay, I'll be nice. <laughs> so、uh, I think I already begged you for a thumbs up. So just、uh, click the subscribe button, hit the notify bell, so you know whenever we post new content.、Uh, if there's other stuff you want to see from this channel, leave a comment down below. And until next time, keep steeping. Keep steeping. <laughs>